Namaste everyone. Hope you are doing well. So we will continue that uh, ray optics part. Today we will uh, have a discussion on how a concave mirror forms image uh, and also convex mirror forms image when the object is kept at different uh, distances. Now if you take a concave mirror and uh, so this is a larger concave mirror I have taken today. Uh, if you place an object very close to it, can you see the enlarged image of this object at certain distance? So, so you can see the image at one position, the enlarged image, right inside the mirror, right? So you can see the enlarged image inside the mirror. For certain object position, you can see this. And uh, um, now, suppose, uh, so this is one type of image. So you can see the image when the object is uh, um, at a certain position inside the mirror. But you don't see the image inside the mirror in a concave mirror always. Now suppose if I hold object and if the object is uh, uh, outside the window, right? If the object is outside the window and if I uh, hold the mirror, and try to get an image. Yesterday we did this in the previous class. Okay, I will take a little bit more light. I will come to this side. Let us try this here. So when we take an object here, you see, this is a different type of image. You can see the image of the window and uh, trees. Yeah. You can see the image of the window and the trees. Uh, in, uh, outside the window, coconut trees, but they are inverted positions. You can see a small building, right? Uh, by holding this, it is difficult to focus it, but still you can see something. So this is another image formation. Of course, this image can be caught on a screen, whereas the last one, when I held a uh, chalk piece in front of the mirror, like this, and you can hold this mirror in front of your face. When you bring this mirror very close to your face, you can see the enlarged image. So how all these types of images are formed? So depending on the position of the object, concave mirror will form images at different positions. That's what you have to do now. So please be ready with a paper and a pen. I always say this, without paper and pen, don't watch this movie. You should keep on writing the dialogues and all the uh, scripts, so you must be along with me. Simply it should not be a, uh, a film matching process, then uh, you will keep on sleeping. So if you want to avoid it, have a pen and paper and start writing. So be ready with pen and paper. Okay, first of all we will uh, remind what we have seen in a concave mirror in the previous classes. One is, uh, suppose you take a concave mirror, see how do I take a concave mirror? I always give the opportunity for the light to travel from left side to right side. That means uh, in the positive x-axis like this, right? Light travels in this because if I, kept a, if I keep an object here, definitely the light travels from left to right. And if you incident parallel rays of light to a concave mirror after reflection, they pass through a point called focus. And if I complete this uh, sphere, it is a part of a sphere. If I complete this sphere, there is a center like this. So where we have to keep the object, sir? You can keep the object anywhere. We will start keeping it from different places. Now, hope you are, you are writing along with me. So you have to draw this. You have to be ready with the mirror. Suppose this is the pole. Now we will write object position. Object at infinity, we will take. What do you mean by object at infinity? That's what I have shown that experiment. I have focused or I have kept the mirror in front of a very far away object and I try to get image on a white screen and I got an image on the white screen. Very small image. Those coconut trees were looking very small. Okay, now how that image is formed? Very simple. The rays of light coming from a very distant object can be taken as almost parallel. So when parallel rays come from the very distant object like this, we know that 
they meet at focus like this. So this is highly diminished image, very, very small image. So compared to the size of the coconut tree, that image was very, very small. So it is highly diminished image and it was inverted. All the coconut trees were uh, found inverted. So when the object is at infinity, image is at F focus. Image is formed at focus because parallel rays come from infinity. Uh, for, a, uh, for an object uh, at a very large distance, parallel rays are emitted and they meet at focus. Image is at F and image uh, nature is uh, real because real is the rays of light meet and inverted and uh, highly diminished because it is very, very small, highly diminished. And you can do this experiment, take a common K mirror and hold it in front of the sun. Sun is at very large distance and uh, light rays coming from the sun are almost parallel. Hold the mirror in front of sun and try to focus the rays of light on the uh, wall. You'll get a point object. Very small focused point, very bright point. All the rays go and meet at that point. And that point is called focus. So if you are given a sentence like this, a student is holding a concave mirror in front of uh, sun and he was able to focus the rays at a distance of 30 centimeter on a wall. What is the focal length of the mirror? Definitely, focal length of that mirror should be 30 centimeters because when parallel rays are made to fall on the mirror, all of them meet at this point. And if this is the wall where the rays get focused, if this is 30 centimeter, definitely it is focal length. So you can find out the focal length of any mirror by doing, doing that experiment. Hold it in front of sun, make the rays to focus on the wall, adjust the mirror, and when the rays get focused on the wall, the distance between the mirror and the wall is the focal length. And if you double it, you know, r equal to 2f, you get the radius. So 60 centimeter will be the radius of curvature, if 30 is the focal length, okay? And it will be highly diminished. So that point image is the image of the sun, very highly diminished and real. So real inverted highly diminished image is formed at the focus. Okay, this is one condition and we know it. Suppose. So we, we have used it in our uh, daily life. We play with this, this concave mirror like that. And suppose the object itself is at focus. What will happen? I'll take a concave mirror and I will keep the object at the focus itself. Right? Concave mirror, keep on drawing it. Object at focus. Yeah. So I'll keep a bulb here. I'll keep a bulb, source of light, so that rays of light come from the focus itself. So I will keep it on the focus. So when you keep a bulb at the focus, and here you have at the double distance center, rays of light parallel to the principal axis always pass through focus. Any ray of light passing through the focus should become parallel. We know that. It's the principle of reversibility. Light follows the same path uh, if it is made to come back. So, if the bulb itself is on the focus, how do the rays go move away? They move away and hit the mirror, they should become parallel. So any ray of light coming from the focus should become parallel after reflection from the concave mirror. So they become parallel. So you will get a parallel beam of light. So using concave mirror, you can produce a parallel beam of light from a diverging light source. If you have a bulb, light rays are diverging from the bulb. But if you keep the bulb at the focus of the concave mirror, the rays of light, after passing through the focus, and they become parallel. This principle is used in uh, the headlight reflectors in vehicles. In vehicles, we have a bulb, which is actually diverging, which is a source of diverging light. Uh, the, uh, that uh, concave reflector or some uh, um, uh, parabolic ref reflector which is concave in shape will be kept behind the bulb and the bulb is exactly kept at the focus so that light rays coming from the bulb will become parallel and light all the light rays which were ready to go away and scatter around are strictly made to come parallel and only the rays of light are focused to the road. Because when you drive a vehicle, you need not have light on other sides. You want the light to be focused on the road only because you need to have only vision on the road. So this is what we do in headlight reflectors. So headlight reflectors contain a bulb which is exactly on the focus. So light coming from the focus become parallel. Of course, this principle, I've forgotten. So this principle is used in uh, 
that uh, to receive the signals from the satellites, we use uh, some uh, antennas, dish, dish-like arrangements like this. So we have a dish-like arrangement in our house, like kept like this. And here is a collector instrument. And uh, all the signals, video signals will be coming from the satellite, which is at a very large distance from the uh, antenna or this dish. And uh, this is like a parabolic reflector like this. And all these uh, radiations coming and falling on this parabolic uh, or uh, concave shaped uh, reflector, they get reflected. And this is exactly kept at focus and they meet at focus. And this will be collected and it will be fed to the TV. All the signals will be made to focus at the focus where exactly that collector will be collector of video signals will be kept and then it will be collected sent to the TV. So this is the principle here, same principle. Of course, there we don't use visible light, we use video signals. But video signals have all the properties of light except that it is not visible to human eye. That's all. Okay. So this is the principle when the object is at F, image is at infinity and uh, it is highly enlarged because we don't know when they meet they by the time they meet they might have traveled a very large distance and uh, image is highly enlarged real and inverted okay very very large image okay so that is one thing so when the object is at focus image is at infinity very large distance now, uh, the, the, you better you understand it uh, by uh, remembering the applications form. Uh, object at infinity, this antenna dish, uh, object at focus, image at infinity, they are becoming parallel. That is a headlight uh, reflector. Okay, now the third one we will see. Object not at infinity, uh, we will bring it a little bit closer, that is beyond C. Object beyond C, center. So let us keep an object beyond the center of curvature. So we will take a concave mirror like this and uh, right. This is the focus where parallel rays meet and this is the center. Let us keep an object away from the center. This is the object in order to identify it. I will have an arrow mark. So this is B and this is A. Yesterday we have drawn, or in the previous class we have drawn this in order to find, find the relation between focal length, object distance, image distance, uh, etc. Okay, now where is the image? You have to consider at least two rays coming from one point of the object. And if you can trace the image of one point, of course you will be successful in getting the remaining part of the image. So consider two rays of light. One ray passing parallel to the principal axis, like this. Let it pass parallel, so because we are very much knowing about this ray. After reflection, it passes through focus. So we know this one. So two arrows, every time you should have an arrow, as soon as the ray of light gets reflected, you should have an arrow. Now let me consider another ray of light, which is incident. Of course, you can pass it through center also, that is also possible. Pass a ray of light through the center, it gets reflected back in the same path. That is also possible, but we will follow what the ray which is in the NCRT syllabus so that uh, you can write the same answer in the exam also. Uh, in make a ray of light to fall onto the pole at some angle. Of course, this is the angle of incidence. You know that this itself acts like a normal because this is a line which is passing through the center at this point here, like this. So this ray is incident at an angle of incidence i. And it should pass uh, such that the angle of reflection is also same. So it should pass like this with the same angle of reflection and it should proceed. So like this. Now the two friends starting from the same point carrying the information after reflection they met once again they should reproduce this. So this is this part of the object and this is the image and B dash and A dash. Right A dash B dash is the image. Here only two rays are enough. But while uh, drawing the diagram for uh, deriving uh, 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v, we considered one more ray which is passing through the center. Uh, but that is not needed now. So when the object is beyond C, how is the image? Where is the image? We will have to describe the type of image. When the object is beyond C, image is, okay, image is, 
between f and c you can see that between f and c and it is real because the rays of light actually meet they actually meet here so real inverted so real inverted diminished it is smaller in size so real inverted diminished image is formed between f and c focus and center right so when the object is beyond c image is between f and c and it is real inverted and diminished okay now we will go for an object at c we will bring it so we were at infinity far away we brought it towards and we uh, brought it up to uh, a distance which is close to c now we will keep it at c so if an object is kept at c object at c at the center okay take a concave mirror draw a principal axis pole is the geometric center and uh, we have a focus where parallel rays meet and center of the whole curvature c now keep an object at c at c like this so a b is an object kept at c now a and b at the center itself as usual we will consider two rays of light one ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through focus i must be very careful now because i should get the image at a particular place okay like this a ray of light moving parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through focus another ray incident to the pole like this after reflection it should reflect with the same angle and it should come here so i know where should be the image formed that's why i am trying to correct it so should be geometrically proper or i'll do it like this this is a better option so it gets reflected like this right so i will write c here and this is the image at c only so when the object is kept at c image is also formed at c because this is focus when the object is kept at c image is at c how is the image it is same sized inverted and real it should be of same size that's why that's why i was struggling to get these rays to meet here somehow i have to get it because i don't have scale i can't write it properly somehow you have to make it here to meet so we have finally got it that the image is formed at c and it is of same size so image is at c and uh, okay it is uh, real same size and uh, inverted right so when the object is at center image is also at the center same size real and inverted and only concave mirror can form these images and uh, all these uh, image formations we are going to list it but you need not by heart that table at all because each image formation is a peculiar one it has a particular application when the object is at infinity image is at focus we know that is the principle of uh, parabolic uh, uh, antennas which collect the video signal when the object is at focus image is at infinity it is a reverse case object and image change their positions right it is a reverse case and uh, that is a reflector of the uh, headlight of vehicles okay now when the object is beyond c image is between f and c right when the object is at c image is also at c this is a particular case no except a plane mirror no, or even if you leave plane mirror, if you uh, sorry consider plane mirror no mirror can or no other mirrors produce image real image of the same size when the object is kept at a certain distance from it only concave mirror can produce other than concave mirror we don't have any other mirror only concave mirror can produce real inverted and image of the same size sir won't plane mirror produce the image of the same size but it is not real it is virtual if virtual image of the same size is produced then it is from the plane mirror 
If real image of same size is produced, then it is by the concave mirror and especially when the object is kept at center. So this you have to uh, remember always. For example, the problem is asked like this, theoretically. A boy holds a concave mirror in front of a candle flame and he finds that the image of the candle flame is formed at the same place, inverted, of the same size. And distance between the flame and the candle is 20 centimeters. What is the focal length of the concave mirror? So a student is holding a ca this uh, candle flame in front of the concave mirror and he finds the image, inverted image, by holding a screen here. Inverted image on the same place and of the same size. If the distance is 20, it should be radius. This should be radius of curvature because it is the only position in the concave mirror where we get the same sized image. So at the center, a same sized image is formed and uh, now if this is 20, focal length is 10. So you must know the theory behind it. Okay, that is another condition. When the object is at C, image is at C only. Now you get the reverse of all the cases. Now we will keep the object between F and C here. So, if the object is kept between F and C, okay, object between F and C, okay, concave mirror, you have to draw this along with me, pole, hope you are doing so, focus, center. If you are not taking any paper and pen and if you are not writing these things, it is a waste, no use at all. Just take a paper and pen, keep on writing whatever I do. You need not write the sentences, sentences you will get anywhere in the book. Understand the theory behind this, understand the gist of this, then you can do anything, right? So you can uh, write the things related to that once you understand the theory behind it. Okay, let us keep an object between F and C here, anywhere between F and C. Again, the story goes the same way, uh, object, okay, here I didn't mark the uh, image, this is B dash, this is A dash, here, this is B, this is A. So, same story, take a ray of light, uh, incident parallel to the principal axis, like this. After reflection, it passes through focus, like this. Okay, I'll shift the focus. Instead of rubbing such a long line, I'll shift the focus. That is easier. So, a ray of light incident along the uh, parallel to the principal axis passes through focus. Consider one, one more ray of light. A ray of light incident to the pole at some angle of incidence. After reflection, it moves like this. Oh, this is not a straight line. It should be a ray of light. Okay, so it moves straight like this. This is a focus and reflected ray. So arrow mark, four arrow marks. Incident ray after reflection coming like this. Okay, I can draw the arrow here. And another incident ray to the pole after reflection coming like this. So where is the image now? Image is formed here. This is B dash, this is A dash. So the same rays of light, two rays of light. So a ray of light Incident parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus, another to the pole reflects in such a way that it meets the previous ray and both of them form the image here. So what type of image? Image is beyond C. Image is beyond C and it is real, inverted and enlarged. Real inverted and enlarged image is formed beyond C. Now compare this case and this case. Object between F and C here. Sorry, here beyond C. Object between F and C and beyond C. Compare the two cases. They are quite reversed. When the object is beyond C, image is between F and C, real inverted diminished. In that case, when the object is beyond uh, sorry, object is between F and C, image is beyond C, real, inverted and enlarged. One thing you remember here, whatever is between F and C, it is smaller. What is here between F and C? Between F and C here is a image, smaller than the object. Here between F and C it is object, smaller, image is larger. 
whatever is beyond C, it is larger. Here beyond C is the object larger than the image. Here beyond C is the image which is larger. So you, you remember all, always this concept. Whatever is beyond C, it is enlarged. Whether it is image or object, whatever is between F and C, it should be diminished. Whether it is object or image. So between F and C, everything is diminished. Beyond C, whatever you get, it should be enlarged. Beyond C, image enlarged. Beyond C, object enlarged. Between F and C, object small. Between F and C, image small. So it is just opposite cases. So all the table, when the object is kept beyond C, at F, at infinity, you have some five to six different possible cases. But you need not uh, remember it. Theoretically, go, uh, go to the points. When the object is at infinity, parallelized, image is at focus, real. And all the images are real, you see. Everything is real. And really the rays of light meet. OK, object at focus, image at infinity. And object beyond C, image between F and C. And all are inverted, real images. And object between F and C, image is beyond C. Beyond C larger, F and C between, between F and C, it is smaller, whatever it is, object or image. So the whole thing gets squeezed, the whole table gets squeezed. And all possible cases. So now is a peculiar case. Last time I, I have shown a concave mirror with a pen or something is kept in front of it when I keep that pen very very close to the mirror and when the pen is away from the mirror you don't see anything inside the mirror now you can't see anything inside the mirror but when the pen is very very close to the mirror you can see the enlarged image of the pin pen or a chalk you can see the enlarged image of the chalk right so you can see this now now this is the special case and this is the only position where you can see the image in inside the mirror you can see the image inside the mirror okay so what is this special case sir then what about all these images are they not produced inside the mirror never they are not produced out inside the mirror you have to place a screen in front of the mirror so that you will get the image so for all these things for for to catch the real images you need a screen because if this point of the object has to be seen again you should give an opportunity for these rays to meet at a point you place a screen here you can get you will get the image as if you are holding some uh, uh, white paper white screen so real images are formed on the screen right now what is that particular case where image is virtual object between F and P, pole, object between F and P. This is the special case in a concave mirror. Of course, everything is special. Everything has its own significance. But this is very, very special. What is the use of this? Say focus, geometric center is called pole. Every time I say the definition so that when you repeat it five or 10 times, it gets printed permanently. C, center, right? So along with the understanding the things, we must go how to reproduce it in the examination. That is also very important. How to remember it for the examination. Okay, so, okay, this is the center focus pole. This is the point where parallel rays meet. This is the center of the whole curvature. Okay, now let us keep an object within the focus. Let us bring a chalk very close to the mirror. What happens? Again, as usual, you have to go for the same story. One ray of light. Uh, passing parallel to the principal axis from A, I have to name it A, uh, moves uh, parallel to the focus like this, right? So a ray of light incident parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus. And another ray of light incident to the pole after reflection, it moves like this. With the same angle of reflection here, angle of incidence and reflection will be same. Of course, the rays of light are not exactly straight lines. They are somehow assume that they are straight lines now, because uh, I will try to write straight lines as far as possible. A ray of light incident parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through focus. Another ray incident on the pole at an angle of incidence i gets reflected in the same angle. 
Of course, just as you, uh, according to your convenience, you say that it is a, you need not have a compass and measure it, whether it is the same angle of incidence or reflection. Just eye measurement is enough. Okay, now, do these two rays meet? What about here? They were converging and meeting here. They were converging and meeting here. The rays of light were meeting here every time. Here, here. But what about here? They never meet. They are diverging. They are moving away. You ask these two rays, where are you going? Are you going to form the image? No, sir. We are diverging. We will never form the image. We, will, we are never going to meet. And you suppose you look from this point. You feel that this is your eye. My beautiful diagram. Okay. I think you can follow that this is the eye. Okay. For a person observing from here, he feels that these two rays are not coming from this object. A, B. They are coming from some point here. Produce this backwards using uh, the same straight line, right? Produce this backwards. He feels that these two rays, the ray which is coming like this diverging, ray which is coming like this diverging, he feels that these rays are coming from a point here. So this point appears to be the image. Again, dotted lines I put because this is a virtual image. Rays really don't they come from here. They don't come from here. They appear to diverge from this point and this point becomes the image a dash b dash and we call it as virtual that is what we have seen an enlarged virtual image is formed inside the mirror that is possible only when you bring the object within f and p not away from f this is the only case where the image is formed within the mirror you need not have to have one more screen to catch this image you can see this inside the mirror itself so one ray parallel moves to the focus, another ray incident on the pole at some angle gets reflected like this. They never meet as, it, as we got it in earlier cases. They never meet, they diverge. So, but for a person observing from here, it looks as if they are coming from here. This is the virtual image. So, object between focus and pole, what about image? Image is virtual and erect. Because you have the candle flame here, image flame here, at the same place, virtual erect and enlarged image is formed, enlarged image. So where is the position? Inside the mirror. Inside the mirror or on the other side of the mirror, other side of the object where it is kept in this side, other side we have the image. So virtual enlarged image, erect image, uh, image is formed inside the mirror. This is the only case when a concave mirror forms the virtual image and in no other cases it forms the virtual image. So see everything is peculiar I have told. A plain mirror forms virtual image but it is always of same size. A concave mirror forms virtual image, it is always enlarged. This is the speciality. Suppose you want to view the image of an object very enlarged inside something, best choice is concave mirror. That is why concave mirror is usually used in, uh, used by uh, dentists, it is used uh, as a shaving mirror because if a person wants to shave, he can use a concave mirror when his face is very close to it, he can see his beautiful face and he can shave very uh, nicely. Of course, it is used in uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, all types of beauty parlors also. So uh, ladies will use this and uh, uh, you can get the enlarged image of the face. It is especially used by dentists. See if you go to a dentist, dentists use concave mirror. So you, you remember this uh, application, it will become very easy. Dentists will have a, this type of arrangement. We think that this arrangement is used to remove the teeth. Suppose you have some problem in your teeth and if you are feeling uh, pained, you go to the doctor and doctor will ask you to lie on a very long chair and by looking at the chair itself you get frightened but still you will uh, lie on the chair and um, it will be like a sleeping position and doctor will ask you to show which is the uh, paining uh, teeth then he will put this inside your mouth. You feel as if he has started removing your teeth, but actually he doesn't do that. He will check it. So wh what he will do is, he will bring this mirror, and here is a mirror, and it is a concave mirror. He will bring this mirror very close to your teeth. Of course, here I can't show the image. When the, of course, teeth can't be brought, object cannot be brought nearer the uh, mirror. 
you have to bring the mirror near. However, it is al already painting, you can't touch it at all. So bring the mirror closer to the teeth. When the mirror is brought closer to the teeth, so that teeth lies within the focus, you will get the enlarged image of your teeth inside the mirror. And doctor can see the image inside the uh, concave mirror. And that image is enlarged. And everything what has happened to the teeth will come out and uh, he will come to know about all those things so that helps us so now you can have the questions sir can't he use a, a plane mirror here what is the use of using a plane mirror uh, no advantage of using plane mirror no advantages if you use a plane mirror you will see the image of the teeth as large as the teeth only because it forms the same sized image instead of that you can look into the teeth itself you need not look into the image right so no use concave mirror is the best choice so if you want to remember this position or this condition, this is used by dentists and also as a shaving mirror or decorating mirror for the face. And of course, only you, use, you look into the image in the mirror, you don't decorate the mirror. For decorating the face, you can use this mirror. And uh, uh, okay, um, a dentist mirror. So, since, uh, and if you are asked, why dentists use concave mirror? Uh, because if you place an object within the focus of the uh, concave mirror, it forms enlarged virtual image. That is why we uh, dentists use this. And uh, that image helps them to uh, uh, check the teeth, problems with the teeth. Okay. So, every uh, image formation is having its own significance. You, can, you need not by heart that table at all. Now all the tables should be in your brain. We will recall it. Don't look into the diagrams, just we will recall it. Object at infinity, parallel rays will come. They will meet at the focus. Real image at the focus, highly diminished and inverted. Real images, first real images are always inverted. First image, real image is always inverted. Inverted. Object at focus, from the focus, rays after reflection should become parallel, image at infinity. So these two are the cases which are one com uh, contrary to the other. Object at infinity, image at focus. Object at focus, image at infinity. At infinity, it is enlarged image. If the image is formed at focus, it is highly diminished. Okay, one contrary case is, is, a case is over. Object beyond C. I have already told whatever is beyond C, it should be enlarged, right? Object beyond C, image is between F and C, inverted, real, smaller size. Object between F and C, focus and uh, center. When the object is between F and C, image is beyond C and it is enlarged, inverted, real. Inverted real is common now. So when the object is between focus and center, image is formed beyond the center, image is enlarged, inverted, real. At C, okay, you are coming to the junction, away from C, between your friends or within C, at C. At C, when the object is at C, image is also at C, at the center, and image is of the same size. And uh, this is the only mirror which forms a real image of the same size. No other mirror forms real image of the same size. So at C, at C, real inverted and uh, of the same size, okay. Then, uh, the last one. Very important one, dentist mirror. When the object is within the focus, in front of the mirror, that means pole and focus, and in, an erect, highly, uh, sorry, erect, enlarged image is formed within the mirror. That's why it is used by, and it's virtual image, that's why it is used by dentists. So everything is squeezed to a small package, and uh, most of the cases are, uh, you can club the two cases, one reverse the other, so that becomes easier. So you go home and, and, and okay, you need not go home, you are in home only now. So you open that NCRT book, see that table. You will find that uh, uh, all these things, possible cases are written, but you need not by heart it. You can just remember technically and uh, the positions of the images. Now we will go for convex mirror. How will be the image formed by the convex mirror? Uh, convex mirror is a special type of mirror. It also forms virtual image but it forms the diminished image. Best example, rear view mirror. Go to any vehicle, see the uh, driver uh, mirror uh, used by the driver to view the rare, rarer objects which are coming from the backside. That mirror is bulged from outside from where it reflects. 
and it always forms diminished virtual image and you have to give special thanks to convex mirror do you ask me why concave mirror forms so many types of, so many uh, types of images but concave mirror form sorry convex mirror forms only one type of image what is that so shall we discuss it now then uh, we will go to the next part convex mirror i have to keep the mirror like this reflecting part always towards my le left side so that i give opportunity for the ray of light to come from left to right okay now where are the pole center you see in a concave mirror you got the chance of putting the objects away from c at c between f and c now in front of the mirror you don't have c you don't have f all the things come inside the mirror because you know that if parallel rays are incident on a convex mirror they diverge as if they are coming from the focus so focus is here center is here if you complete this sphere you will get a center here so all of them come here so there is no question of placing the object here 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 because you don't go behind the mirror and decorate yourself you should stand in front of the mirror so in front of the mirror you have to keep an object so where we will place any position because there is no particular position uh, uh, there is a name for a particular position there is no name keep an object here let us take a little enlarged object because i know that i will get a diminished image okay take two rays of light one parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through focus in a concave mirror here appear to diverge from focus any ray of light passing parallel to the principal axis so before getting reflected you just confirm that this is a line which is towards the focus otherwise simply uh, reflecting it reflecting it somewhere else and trying to bring it towards the focus doesn't look nice now it should reflect in this direction only correct first you join this and see how does it get reflected so a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection diverges in such a way that it appears to diverge from the focus take one more ray of light passing to the pole and moving with the same angle of reflection angle of incidence angle of reflection as if you have considered in the other cases same thing here so incident ray diverging such a way that coming from the focus appearing to come from the focus another ray incident on the pole getting reflected in the same angle now you ask these to rest are you going to meet no sir as we had here they are diverging diverging in such a way that they will never meet but for a person observing from here if he receives these two rays he feels that this ray and this ray are just projecting out from here from this point so he feels that this ray is coming from this point source this ray is coming from this point source so he feels that uh, this the flame part of the candle is here and of course it is virtual and this is the image formed and this is a dash b dash this is the image formed here so virtual and diminished image is formed because rays do not actually meet they appear to meet here at this point so since they started from here this should be the image part here okay yes right so in convex mirror wherever is object you keep it here here or here for any position of object for any position of object image is inside the mirror of course it will be within the focus inside the mirror it will be within the focus because only when you take the object at infinity you will get image at the focus image is inside the mirror virtual because rays do not meet actually erect and diminished it is smaller in size virtual erect and diminished so this is the special case of convex mirror sir because of this special case whether convex mirror is used anywhere yes it is a rare view mirror in vehicles rare view mirror in vehicles what is rarer side rarer side is the one which we can't see 
if you are driving a vehicle, if something is coming from back, you must be able to identify what is coming from back because you want to give the side. Sir, it is a diminished image formed. Doesn't it produce any problem? No, not at all. Because if you can see the smaller sized image of a bus, you know act what is the actual size of the bus because that is not the first time you are looking at a bus. You really have seen bus so many times. So just identifying the object is enough for us. So, and sir, why can't we use concave mirror as a rear view mirror? Why can't you use concave mirror as a rear view mirror? Problem is, in a concave mirror, inside the mirror, image is formed only when object comes within the focus. So if you, the driver is using a concave mirror as a rear view mirror, ask him, why are you using concave mirror? Because I can see enlarged image of the object. I can see it very clearly. But the problem is, if something is coming from black side, he will be able to notice it inside the mirror only when that object enters within the focus. Suddenly, he will be able to see the image. And where, as far as the object is away from the focus, he will not be able to identify it. Because in all the cases beyond the focus, image is formed real. It is not formed inside the mirror. Only when the object is within the focus, image is formed inside the mirror. So all of a sudden, he will come to know that an object is coming from back. And after that, it, there, there is no time for adjustment. So there may be a chance of accident, uh, uh, accident occurring. So in order to avoid it, we use convex mirror. Sir, what is the uh, advantage of convex mirror? Wherever is the object, we get image inside the mirror. Always it is formed. Whether the bus is coming from a very long distance from your backside, whether it is very close, image is formed inside the convex mirror, you may be able to identify all the objects. And moreover, convex mirror is bulged outside. Its field of view is more. What do you mean by field of view? It can cover a very a objects in a larger space. So when you have a small convex mirror as rear view mirror, it is enough to show all the world behind it. So it has two advantages. It can cover all the view, it has more field of view, as well as it can uh, give the image of any object at any distance from it. But image is diminished, no problem, uh, even if the image is diminished. Because we are looking into the images of the objects which we have already seen. So in reality, how much larger it is, we know it. So that's why it is used as a rear view mirror in vehicles. And of course, can dentists use this? No use, because if dentists use a convex mirror, wherever they hold, even outside the mouth, they can you see the teeth, but diminished image of the teeth, that doesn't help us. So this is a particular case, but thank convex mirror that it forms the only one diagram. So if, uh, if you are asked to write a uh, ray diagram uh, for uh, producing different types of images, then uh, um, this is the only case for convex mirror. But for a concave mirror, they may ask you, uh, draw a ray diagram showing an enlarged image, real image in a concave mirror. If you want to draw the enlarged real image for a concave mirror, you have to keep an object between your fancy, isn't it? You have to keep the object between your fancy, right? And uh, draw a ray diagram for a concave mirror showing the image which is real, sorry, which is virtual and direct. You have to draw this diagram. So you have to go for a particular case. But in such, such cases don't exist in convex mirror. So it forms, uh, uh, always forms real and, uh, sorry, virtual diminished erect image. And virtual images are always erect, remember. First images are always erect. So that's about the formation of uh, image. So this may be a question for the examination. And this idea, all the types of images, uh, image formation is that idea is very very important while you while, while you solve the problems you must know that answer should be like this and like that so you should uh, tag it wherever you want so you should bring all those ideas when you solve the problem i got this answer whether this answer is correct whether that image formation is proper according to this theory if you know it you can solve the problems so before uh, going to the problems we will take a break thank you Keep writing this, keep drawing this, have a very good uh, idea of all these things. Don't uh, uh, simply uh, um, uh, um, just uh, leave this as it is. Practice it yourself. See why the rays are going like this. What is the reason behind this? Keep practicing. Thank you. Yes. Now, we have seen Different types of image formation in a concave mirror as well as convex mirror, which is only one type. Now, uh, we will put, in, put into a problem because uh, in this chapter, 
using the sign conventions is very important and uh, in the previous class we have seen how do you take the sign conventions that is theoretical part how to apply it and when the real part comes into picture you should be extremely careful now I don't give you a problem we will analyze some numbers and then we will go to the problem now I will take a concave mirror of focal length 20 centimeters and find the nature and position of the image for different positions of object already we have seen when the object is kept beyond C image is between F and C when the object is between F and C image is beyond C and when the object is at C image is at C and uh, when the object is within the focus enlarged virtual erect image all these things are we have we know it now properly now uh, so whether these uh, images uh, will be obtained using uh, uh, the formula is it possible so we will analyze it so that once you solve this yourself then you can solve the problems now let us see uh, the object uh, distance uh, before that uh, we will be uh, let us uh, make uh, uh, very firm with our formula what are the formulas used mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v and another thing is magnification magnification is height of the image by height of the object which is also equal to minus v by u v is image distance u is object distance now uh, uh, we will const uh, uh, come to this uh, position object beyond c image is between f and c and image is inverted real smaller you know my uh, you know that uh, technique of remembering anything beyond c is larger anything between f and c is smaller so now we are getting image between f and c smaller object beyond c larger La right now i will give you okay we will solve this condition so magnification formula h dash by h is equal to minus v by u we have a minus here we don't have minus in the mirror formula let the object distance be okay i'll write it here only let the object distance u be so we have to go beyond c uh, center will be at 40 centimeter because this is the radius uh, sorry this is the focal length double the focal length we have uh, radius and object distance say this is 40 say 50 centimeters let the object be kept at 50 centimeter which comes to be beyond c right so we should get this case do we get that case now in a concave mirror when parallel rays are incident on a concave mirror they so uh, like this if parallel rays are incident on a concave mirror after reflection they meet at focus and this is called focal length now divide this into cartesian coordinate system everything that comes in the right hand side is positive everything that comes in the left hand side is negative everything above the principal axis is positive below the principal axis is negative provided if the ray of light is moving in the plus x axis direction like this that's why we have kept the mirror like this that's why i ask always you to keep the mirror such that the ray is going in the plus x axis so now focal length all the distances are measured from the pole focal length comes on the left hand side negative center will be here because this is the part of a sphere center will be somewhere here of course if this is the focus this is the center radius is negative for a concave mirror so if i write the radius so focal length strictly it is minus 20 centimeters and if i write the radius it is minus 40 centimeters because r is equal to 2f so every time when you substitute the formula when you get the answer plus minus whether it is proper or not you have to go on checking so let us do it with a lot of patience so radius is negative left side focal length is negative left side okay now we will keep an object at a distance of 50 centimeter when you keep an object at a distance of 50 centimeter you have to keep it like this okay this is the coordinate system this is the silver face and object should be kept here again left side so u is negative they will say in the problem it will be given keep an, an object is kept at a distance of 50 centimeter from a concave mirror they won't mention whether it is plus or minus you have to take it because it is a convention okay it is minus 50 now we, where you should get the image let us analyze it in the beginning and then we will try to get the answer image should be between c and f that means our answer image distance answer should be between uh, 40 and 20 am i right it should be between 20 and 40 let us see whether we get it as 
between 20 and 40. So you should uh, do this. Again, I uh, remind you, you should have a pen and paper and you have to write all these things. Without writing, better you go out and uh, do your own job. Otherwise, it is useless, right? Take a pen and paper, start writing all these things. So analyze it. Of course, these things you have already written, you need not write it again. I have kept it on the board for the reason that I can compare it. That's all. But you have these all these things in one mind. I am very sure you have understood all these things and you have that in the things in your brain. And now, yes, our image should come between 20 and 40. We will check whether we will get it or not. We will apply the formula 1 by F equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. That implies, keep on writing, 1 by minus 20 equal to 1 by u where is u u is minus 50 all the things come in the left hand side so minus 1 by 50 plus 1 by v that we don't know now v should also come with the negative sign can you tell me why image is also on the left hand side it is between f and c so all the distances are measured from the pole to this but rays are moving like this rays are moving like this forward but image distance has to be measured from the pole to the image. So opposite direction. Distances measured opposite to the direction of incident light are taken negative. So it should be negative. Now there is no question of taking negative. All the values which are given data must be assigned with the plus or minus according to the situation. But what you are going to find out should not be assigned. They should come as it is. You should get the answer as it is plus or minus. Okay, so what is V? We should get negative V. Okay, this minus 1 by 50, I will take it to the left hand side. It becomes plus 1 by 50. So what is 1 by V? 1 by V, v I will keep it here only. Minus 1 by 50 will be taken here. So is equal to plus 1 by 50 minus 1 by 20. This 1 by 50 is taken here. So shall I take 100 as common? 100 centimeter. And everything is in centimeter. Uh, don't worry answer is also in centimeter because all these are distances I have not converted it into SI system suppose uh, since all the things are distances nothing else is involved answer will be also in uh, uh, centimeter so any unit is okay 50 2 times and 20 okay minus 5 times so what is the answer 1 by V is equal to 2 minus 5 uh, that is uh, minus 3 by 100 that implies v is equal to so keep a habit of writing 1 by v always otherwise what we will do is you will write 1 by v here keep on writing this 3 by 100 also here you take 0 0.003 as the answer but it is not the answer it is 1 by v what is v equal to minus 100 by 3 minus 33.33 centimeter does it lie between 20 and 40 F and C, F is 20, C is the 40, double, yes, that is correct. So image is formed between F and C, minus 30. And minus is also okay because it is in this side. Image is diminished, is it so? Yes. Suppose uh, I take height of the object as, I will take height of the object. Say height of the object is, uh, so H, that is what we take. H is the height of the object. Uh, let me take it as some, uh, say, some 10 centimeter I'll take. Then what will be the height of the image? It should be lesser, let us see. And it is inverted below the principal axis. I want to calculate what is H dash. H dash by H. H is 10. Whether this is plus 10 or minus 10. Object is above the principal axis. So plus 10. Plus 10. H dash by H. Height of the image by height of the object is equal to minus sign v v is negative minus 33.33 minus 33.33 by u u is 50 minus 50 and it is on the other side last time we have written u as minus 50 so what will be this answer that is equal to uh, this 10 will make this 5 times and now we can divide this minus will get cancelled with this minus but one minus will remain that is equal to minus six uh, sixty one minute uh, uh, six point six six centimeters 
minus 6.66 centimeters which is lesser than 10 centimeters minus sign indicates that it is inverted and it is below the principal axis so everything goes very clear so you must be very cool and very patiently you have to solve the problem so everything has meaning negative sign says that it is inverted and 6 centimeters which is less than 10 says that it is diminished and 33.33 says that it is between 20 and 40 it is between f and c so everything is clear now now we will change the position okay let us keep the object at c shall we get the image at c same size inverted i think i can go a little faster now how okay i think i can do it here everything is same uh, mirror focal length 20 minus 20 because concave mirror on the other side and uh, uh, height of the image height of the object 10 centimeter and object is kept at 50 centimeter everything same but uh, so no no object is not kept at 50 centimeter it is kept at c that means 40 centimeters i'll take u is equal to minus 40 that means at c you should get the image at c inverted same sized okay apply the formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v that implies 1 by focal length focal length we have taken already it is the 20 minus 20 1 by u is it, uh, plus 1 by u plus 1 by u is a negative minus 40 at c is equal to uh, sorry 1 by f is equal to 1 by u 1 by minus 40 plus 1 by v so surely you know that v should be negative and uh, v should be same as 40 because object distance and image distance are same in this particular case so we'll solve this minus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 40 is equal to 1 by v that implies 40 can be taken as common denominator 1 by v equal to i'll write this first 40 can be taken as common denominator yes 22 times minus 2 and 41 times plus 1 1 by v is a minus 1 by 40 that implies v is equal to minus 40 centimeters so you know the meaning of each signal here minus on the same side left hand side 40 same as object distance oh, sorry same sized here so minus here same size and if you calculate magnification definitely you will get one because uh, um, yeah, 40 by 40 it is one so size of the image then will be if you substitute uh, uh, in the formula m is equal to h dash by h v by u you will get uh, v by u as 40 by 40 then uh, h dash by h gives h dash equal to h so height of the image is also uh, that uh, same as 10 centimeter so that one case is over now let us keep the object between f and c so where should you go now i'll rub this so i'll write the values again and uh, i'm uh, taking this formula particularly to teach you how should you go along with sign conventions that's the main intention and then it becomes easy to solve the problems this itself is a problem now we are solving it so focal length of the concave mirror is 20 but we have to give minus 20 reason is uh, uh, focus comes in the same side as the uh, incident rays but you have to measure it in the opposite direction and uh, so then uh, object distance it should be between f and c center will be at 40 and uh, focus will be at 20 so we'll select uh, some 30 centimeters object distance 30 minus 30 i'll choose uh, this side and uh, height of the object is uh, 10 centimeter we will analyze this where is the image you know that image should be beyond c beyond c in the sense you should get more than 40 answer right so let us substitute 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u that implies so you keep on writing hope you are writing along with me that is very very important otherwise these things are very uh, useless you must write it 1 by f 1 by f uh, is 1 by minus 20 is equal to 1 by v don't know 
plus 1 by u, u is minus, so I'll write minus 1 by 30 directly. Plus 1 by minus 30. Bring minus 1 by 30 to this side. Minus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30 is equal to 1 by v. This comes to be plus when it comes to the left hand side. 1 by v remains here only. That implies I can take uh, 60 common equal to 1 by v. 60 3 times minus 3. 32 times plus 2 minus 1 by 60 so minus 1 by 60 is 1 by v implies v is equal to minus 60 centimeter everything is in centimeters it is minus 60 centimeters and 60 is definitely far away and how much magnified it is anything away from c should be magnified how much magnified it is m is equal to h dash by h is equal to minus v by u so that implies h dash we don't know h object distance above the principal axis 10 centimeters is equal to minus formula minus image distance that is also minus minus 60 by u u is also minus minus 30 in between f and c this one now this this gets cancelled and uh, this is minus this is 30 and h dash we want this is two times correct and what is h dash h dash is equal to one minus is remaining minus 20 centimeters which is double the size of the object so image beyond c but on the same side as the mirror so minus uh, of double the height 20 than 10 uh, is formed on the same side beyond C so this is also correct so this is one type of image formation right so once you work out problems like this you will definitely be able to remember all the things very clearly because all these positions become very very clear when you do all these things now come to this part this part of the image what is this object is within the focus so focal length of the mirror is concave mirror is negative minus 20 centimeters i'll take object distance as minus 10 centimeters because it is in the in this within the focus minus 10 anything you can take you can check it and you can do it in your house you can uh, get the answer height of the object is 10 centimeters what is the position of the image and you should come to the right hand side now for the first time we should get an answer which is positive image distance because if you divide this into Cartesian coordinates, if the image is formed here, from the pole, you have to move it like this to measure the distance. And if you want to move like this, you are moving in the direction of incident light. Distances measured in the direction of incident light are taken positive. You should get image distance as positive. Okay, we will move. 1 by F equal to 1 by V plus 1 by U. Sir, why are you writing the formula again and again? Because I want you to write the formula again and again so that you will be acquainted with the formula perfectly when you write it many times. Okay, yeah. 1 by f equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u implies 1 by f minus 20 plus 1 by u. u is also negative, so I'll put the negative sign here only. Uh, minus 10, which is within the focus plus uh, uh, 1 by f is equal to 1 by f is equal to 1 by 1 by v plus 1 by u 1 by 10 yes v we don't know minus sign came because u becomes negative so already i put minus sign uh, u is uh, sorry f is negative so we should get inside the mirror so what is v uh, we should be positive now in this case minus 1 by 10 uh, sorry 1 by 20 i'll bring this plus 1 by 10 here this minus becomes plus when it comes to the other side equal to 1 by v that implies 20 common and that is 1 by v 20 common 1s are and 10 2s are so what is 1 by v 1 by v is equal to uh, minus uh, sorry 2 minus 1 is 1 1 by 20 so that implies v is equal to 20 centimeters so image is formed 
at a distance of 20 centimeters plus on the other side. That means you should, from the pole, you should move in the direction of incident light. Distances measured along the direction of incident light are taken positive. So you should move like this. That means inside the mirror, that is the image distance, V equal to 20 centimeters. What is magnification? It should be enlarged. Of course, we will come to know that it is enlarged. Image distance is 20, which is greater than the object distance. So magnification should be positive now. M is equal to H dash by H equal to minus V by U. That's what the formula says. Apply this formula. H dash, suppose you want to get the image height. Image height should be positive finally because it is above the principal axis. H dash by H. H is the uh, image distance, uh, sorry, H object distance that is uh, plus 10 centimeters. Already we have taken object is uh, of height 10 centimeters. It is plus above the principal axis is equal to minus in the formula image distance uh, it is positive 20 by object distance. Uh, it is negative on the other side that is uh, minus 10. So H dash to be found out H object distance above the principal axis 10 minus from the formula image distance 20 centimeter it was in this direction so no separate minus except this formula minus but what about U object distance that is minus 10 because it is in the other side minus minus gets cancelled what is H dash? 10, 10 gets cancelled, only 20. So H dash is 20 centimeters, which is double the size of the object uh, here. So enlarged virtual image, image distance is positive on the other side, is formed inside the mirror. So if you are perfect in all the sign conventions, applying it, even if you go wrong, you will come to know that this has gone wrong. So this becomes very easy, and if you work out problems, how to apply the sign conventions. Now let us go to the last case, this one. A convex mirror forms always an image within the focus inside the mirror and it is diminished. We will take a convex mirror. A convex mirror of focal length, same uh, data we will take, 20 centimeter. And an object is kept at a distance of any distance you can uh, use, there is no restriction here, say 10 centimeter or I will take 5 centimeter in front of the convex mirror. and. Uh, uh, what else I can write? Where is the image? And what is the magnification? Magnification is how much? M is how much? Okay? Right. Now, how to take all these signs? If you incident a parallel rays on the convex mirror from left hand side, so that rays of light uh, uh, move along plus x axis, they reflect in such a way that they appear to come from a point here. So focus comes on the right hand side and if you divide this into coordinate system like this, focus comes on the right hand side. Focal length is plus. It is on the other side here. Focus is here. It is positive. Object is on the left hand side. Negative. What about image distance? How should be the answer? Positive. Can you tell me why? Because it is on this side. So image distance should be positive. Magnification positive. Why? Image is erect. Object is erect. So that should be positive. Okay. If the image is inverted, then only the magnification should be negative. And uh, if I made magnification is greater than one, enlarged. Lesser than one, uh, diminished. Okay. Same formula, mirror formula. 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v or 1 by v plus 1 by u. Any, anyway. Okay. Apply this one here. 1 by f. 1 by 20 plus it's a convex mirror. Don't buy heart that convex mirror focal length is positive. Convex mirror focal length is positive. Not like that. Just simply see why it is positive. If parallel rays are incident, they appear to come from the focus on the other side. That's why it is positive. So remember that case. 1 by f equal to 1 by u, 1 by minus 5 plus 1 by v. We don't know what is v. v should be positive finally. Bring this here. 1 by 20 plus 1 by 5 because this comes positive, is equal to 1 by v. So what is 1 by v? I think I can take a common something like 50. 50 is better choice. 50, not 50. I'll take it as a, some, uh, okay, 100 I'll take. No problem. I'll take 100 as a common denominator. 20, 5 times 5 plus 5, 20 times 20. Right. That is 1 by v. 25 by 100 
is 1 by v. See the method of solving. I always write 1 by v. I don't leave it at all because I don't want to get uh, uh, carried away towards a wrong answer by not writing this 1 by v. Because there is a chance that if you don't write 1 by v, there is a chance that I will write uh, writing the answer this itself. That is not the answer. That is 1 by v. What is v? v is equal to 20, sorry, 100 by 25. That is uh, 4 centimeters. Now, is this within the focus? Because even inside the convex mirror, it is formed within the focus. Yes, definitely. So, and uh, image is formed plus, which is within the mirror. It is positive. Now, what about the magnification? Magnification is height of the image by height of the object. That dash is height of the image by height of the object. Okay, that is equal to minus V by U. We will apply this. So, that implies h dash where is h dash uh, that has to be found out you're not going to uh, going to substitute this h height of the object and i have taken it as uh, 10 last time now also i will take it as 10 centimeters it is above the principal axis so plus plus 10 is equal to minus formula minus v by u v image distance we got it as positive 4 u u was negative that was minus 5, right? So again, h dash to be found out, h uh, 10 centimeter above the principal axis, positive, formula negative, minus v positive, 4, because we got it as 4, it is on this side, u on the other side, minus 5. So what is h dash? It should be diminished, it should be less than 10 centimeter. Let us see whether we get it or not. 5, 2 times. And this minus, this minus will get cancelled. 2, 4 times 8 centimeters, which is less than 10 centimeters, diminished image. Hope I am right? Yes. So, a diminished virtual image inside the mirror is formed and it is erect above the principal axis. We got h dash positive and it is not negative, otherwise it would have been inverted. Now it is erect. Uh, but it is diminished less than 10 is formed within the mirror so this way whenever you solve the problem you should go along with the sign conventions theory theory part is very important and you should try to connect it with the theory part what you have studied whether this is true whether this is plus whether this is minus a little bit of patience is required but this gives you a lot of confidence because while writing the sign conventions using the sign conventions in the problem it is not the question of understanding the sign conventions. It is the experience of applying the sign conventions is very, very important. You may know all these uh, three sign conventions very well. You have to take it as positive when you go along the direction of uh, incident light. You know it, but how to apply it? That is only experience. Try to solve many, many problems regarding this. First, take some worked out problems from the book. Try to work it out yourself. Then compare it with the solution. And if you find any difficulty, of course, you can uh, search the solution also. Why it is taken negative and positive. Everything will be explained in the problem. And in this way, and then take unknown problems. Problems with the, some only answer key will be given, not steps will be given. Try to solve them. That is very important. So hope you will do some problems, you will solve it, you will get all the answers for that. So keep trying, all the best. Thank you.